When would you not give propofol? My first go-to is that severe cardiovascular disease with a very significantly reduced ejection fraction. However, like you just talked about, that's not an absolute contraindication. And you can use multimodal approach. Really, in learning about propofol, there's a whole block <laughs> in our board's preparation materials about the way that propofol is prepared and the egg products and allergies and all of this stuff. The TLDR of all of that from my takeaway and understanding is that oftentimes people can have an allergy to egg products and then still receive the version of propofol that's distributed in the United States without an issue. But if you do see that there's an allergy to propofol, you might want to investigate a little bit further. Do you have anything to add to that? True allergies to propofol itself are quite rare, but you can technically be allergic to any drug. So if your patient has a known history of allergy or anaphylaxis to propofol, please do not give it. I think I saw a few studies that said like 1% of the population. I have a hard time even believing that. I can't tell you how many out of six I've done. And I think I've only met one patient ever in my career who has had a true allergy to propofol.